வணக்கம் மே ஹைதர் அலி சையத் ஆசிர்வாம் சே யுனைடெட் அண்ட் தமிழ் சேவா ஹலோ 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 Yes, I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing good. Quick question. Yes. So, I saw your 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 rooms where you talk about, you know, uh the Quran being uh a message from Sida and that some people don't receive it and that some people don't practice the You're pretty much saying that uh the Abrahamic religions are against what originally the Sida thought. against mm-hmm. spirituality and all of that right yes sir. so yeah, what would actually, be yeah the thing is uh, uh when you read quran actually quran chapter 1 uh, you have, have you read quran a little bit yeah if you read chapter 1 i'm a, uh, I come from a christian perspective yeah it, a, it says that to guide us to the straight path the path whom you have left uh not the part who are under your warrant and the people who went astray so here is uh, it is here is talking about four thing one is the siratul mustaqim or straight path which was given to first siddha uh, that is a uh, sh- uh, shiva or set as per the biblical term set and uh, people who are uh, under warrant are the basically the bloodline of cain the restless wanderer on the earth with a sign and astray people are basically from the bloodline of ibrahim the belated people uh, who were called as children of israel whom god has sent many messengers and uh, they did not follow what ibrahim followed because ibrahim followed the same path which prophet noah has followed so instead of uh, uh, talking about uh, set or uh, his way of life uh, of the first siddha the children of israel they propagated ibrahimic faith and under the label of uh, uh, moses and jesus and muhammad they started a cult based on mithraism concept which is uh, totally against uh, that's why quran says that they are astray people you got the point you said based on the what concept uh, see straight part what is a straight oh, part yeah. siratul mustaqim straight yeah, part yeah so would you so, say that uh, jesus was a siratu Yeah, of course, he is a, he's a Siddha. He is a, he's a, he's a Siddha, he is a messenger because uh, without doing meditation, without activating a Kundalini, you cannot get connected with higher conscious. That's why the Bible says, nah, I have created a human in my own image, in my own likeness, and I have given him the dominance over the world, all the, on the, all the uh, living creatures. So, to activate the image of God, you have to do his meditation, the seven Kundalini. Okay so what do you think was the original teachings of Jesus and when do you think it got misinterpreted and why why do you think people do that See Jesus uh, message is uh, very limited to lost sheep of house of Israel not for gentiles and as you, as you are we must be aware that Jesus mission was incomplete he was taken alive and he will come back again and that's the time when he when the children of israel will uh, have their final exodus so you do believe the 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 story or the topology of the of the muslim perspective on 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 jesus i'm saying the story of how he did not get crucified and that that he was uh, taken up to heaven oh, oh, taken alive he's going, he's going to come back again That's okay so you do believe in all of that you do believe yes, you yes. believe that he wasn't yes. crucified yeah he it was a uh, believe is just show that this thing has happened but he was taken alive but you do know that the crucifixion is said to be a historical account right see what quran says is that it uh, the crucifixion no, happened no, but the quran, uh, the quran uh, uh, you can't take that as a historical uh and uh, before that uh, before that christianity is based on mithraism not on the on the teaching of uh, what uh, jesus followed no no was the christians that 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 uh no, christians were not there the crucifixion it was josephus josephus flavius was from the first of all first of all trinity 
trinity or three in one concept do you believe in that yeah do you know where this, this uh, three in one concept came from where see the three in con- three in one concept was basically a part of uh, tamil culture and this concept was taken by the nomads uh, uh, under the mithraism pagan culture and where they introduced indra varun mitra and later on the same the three in one concept was taken into as brahma vishnu mahesh they are not three but one but actually three in one applies for human being not for god god is one and only so in the, the three in one concept of uh, in the asivagam or the first siddha way of life is that we human are three in one basically we are uh, god's particle we are uh, we are having dna we and we are uh, earthly material so we are three in one god is one and only so until or unless you don't understand uh, shiva or uh, asivagam way of life all the, you will not understand what jesus uh, preached because jesus moses muhammad these are followers not the founder of any uh, 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 what you say the, the they are not the founder of any god's religion they are the so followers you, of you, uh, yeah do you guys so you do believe in the in monotheism from your perspective because if you mention shiva brahma and all of that siddha i'm thinking that yeah. uh, monotheism is the part of our life because uh, when we do we in uh, in all the vedic uh, vedic age is basically coming after 1500 bc bc but before that if you look into our uh, koil koil in uh, tamil means house of a king not house of a god it means uh, koil means house of a king so so basically all our tribe they used to have equal right in administration so this was actually the concept power to people was the concept in our uh, culture and uh, that's why we have we had this golden age called satyugam uh, or uh, sangam era which uh, pe- people uh, talk about so, the so when the, when all the is uh, during the time so the t- the tamils people were monotheist as some yes, of course. people were uh, monotheist because they they, they see when we are doing meditation we are getting connected with higher conscious and there is no idol worship in our, our culture we do meditation we do yoga we do uh, that uh, ancestral get together it's a tribal okay. culture where we, yeah. yeah brother brother so let me what is your perspective the time you i'm i'm thinking you are you follow hinduism but i'm i'm, I'm oh, might be hinduism is a religion started by mithraism like christianity like ibrahimic faith everything is connected with uh, persian doctrine so i'm not interested in uh, ibrahimic faith nor in uh, hinduism we are basically following asivagam asivagam means in tamil god guided path which was given to first any any sources that you can send me that that i can read on that uh, sources are oh. the holy books actually it's all holy books are connected with that and mm. we have our and uh, a uh, cradle of civilization because we, do you believe in common ancestry yeah so adam and eve they came in uh, sri lanka in tamil nadu and first language is tamil okay. adam adam itself is a tamil word a means uh, in the tamil means god dam means bed breath god given breath so adam means god given breath in tamil so i am uh, i didn't like uh, god given breath yeah interesting okay yeah so and the uh, first language is tamil and uh, god's heavenly language too is uh, tamil and written form of tamil was given to first uh, siddha or the third son of adam called set so who, and who is that? set s e t is the oh, third son of adam yes yes yeah yeah set okay, is a uh, uh, shiva actually Mm, okay. Okay. And uh, as per our tradition, uh, whatever the oral tradition which the Tamil people says, the Bible and Quran confirms it. Like for example, uh, in our in our Tamil tradition, we say that the first human is black. Quran also confirms that, and modern science also confirms it. If you do some linguistics uh, studies, language, you will find that Tamil is the oldest surviving language. Okay. Okay. Welcome. Thank you.